Hi, my name is Larry Jordan, and welcome to this Power Up webinar on a workflow inside Final Cut Pro along with media management. What I want to do today is to give you a sense of how Final Cut organizes itself and a sense of how you can organize yourself to become a more efficient editor. We're going to look at a variety of media management and file handling techniques inside Final Cut that you can put to work immediately to make sure that you stay organized throughout the entire editing process and manage the files that are involved in doing any kind of editing. Ben Balser sent me a recent quote for our Editing Truths contest that I like a great deal. He wrote, Deadlines always stop editors from finishing their work. That is absolutely true, because as editors, all we have to sell is our time and our skill. If we want to earn more money, tackle better projects, or rediscover our life, we need to become more efficient. So the goal for this session is to make both you and Final Cut Pro more efficient. In this session, we'll look at an editing workflow for yourself, setting scratch disks for Final Cut for tape and tapeless media, organizing and tracking files in the browser, finding files in the browser, the timeline, and the finder, managing project files, discovering and changing attributes, and managing render files. I first started thinking about the importance of efficiency in editing. After a conversation I had several years ago with Francoise Bounot, who has had five Oscar nominations and two wins as a film editor, it was just after I got myself certified for Final Cut, and I was looking for work because I was now an Apple-certified trainer. I knew everything there was to know about Final Cut. You just, <laughs> just had to ask me. And I saw an ad in The Hollywood Reporter that said, Assistant Film Editor Needed. Must know Final Cut. Well, I knew Final Cut, and I'd seen a film. I figured I was perfect for this, so I answered the ad by calling the phone number, and a woman in a French accent answered the phone. I said I was her new assistant film editor. I could hear her smile in the phone all this distance, even yet. And she said, well, come on down, let's chat. So I drove to Burbank, parked in front of a bungalow, and walked in and had a chance to meet Francoise for the first time. And as I started chatting with her, I realized very soon that my background was in video, her background was in film, and there was a wide gulf between the two of us. Gulf not in terms of personality, but a gulf in terms of what she knew and what I knew. And I realized that there was no way I was qualified yet to be her assistant editor. So I graciously said, please don't consider me for this job. At least I hope it was gracious. But seeing as you've allocated 15 minutes to chat with me, I'd be really grateful if we could talk about film editing for the next few minutes. And she very, very kindly said yes. It would help my story if I could remember what we talked about, and I don't remember word one except one answer to one question that changed everything that I do, it changed the way I write my books, changed the training that I do, changed the way I teach my classes, everything derived from this one answer. I said, Francois, how do you know when your films are done? And she looked down in her lap, and she looked up with a small smile, and she said, done? done my films my films are never done they take them with my arms wrapped around them and they rip them from my grasp and they release them to the world and i can still make them better mm. she's won oscars for her work and yet she doesn't have the time that she needs to make her films to her satisfaction and at that instant i realized that if she doesn't have the time then we certainly don't have the time so it comes down to a key question for all of us. What should I be doing right now to get this project done on time? From that question, I created a workflow as a guide for my first book. And I've updated this workflow as new technology provides us with new tools. And there are two parts to this workflow. Part one is create the story. And part two is polishing the story. Now, Final Cut fits really well into this workflow, but this isn't a workflow for your software. This is a workflow for you. Step one, plan what you're going to do. Now, as soon as I say plan to a, a classroom full of young editors, all their faces fall because they all want to get right in there and start cutting. But if you don't know where you're going, you're never going to get there. Planning is the heavy lifting of any editing project. What's your deliverable? How are you going to create the deliverable? Where does it have to go? How are you going to get it there? What video format are you going to edit? Do you have to transcode your media? Or what audience is it for? The questions are almost endless, but if you ask them at the beginning of the project, 
it's much easier to get answers than if you're under deadline at the end.